day? Are they truly concerned? Let's find out. We are extremely concerned about the deteriorating security situation in Nigeria, UK government. Okay. The United Kingdom government says it is extremely concerned about the deteriorating security situation in Nigeria. We are extremely concerned about the deteriorating security situation, said Katrina Lang, British High Commissioner to Nigeria. And the reception helps to welcome home the 2019-2020 UK Children Scholarship beneficiaries in Abuja. While stating that the UK government was keen on supporting Nigeria win its fight against insecurity, Lang said, our country has been helping the Nigerian military in the areas of training, campaign planning, and countering of IEDs. Mm -hmm. Lang said, our country that is the UK government has been helping the Nigerian military in the areas of training, campaign planning, and country of IEDs. But uh, if you are, then not, it's not showing, you know. <laughs> it's not showing. Or maybe it's showing, Sha. Maybe it's showing. Mm. It's showing. Mm. You know what I mean? Nigeria is facing a lot of problems everywhere. In the northeast, terrorism and the northwest banditry, kidnapping in the middle of the farmers are just, it's not a conflict, it's invasion. It's invasion. Katrina, what is your name? It's invasion. It's not conflict, not a conflict at all. In South, the Niger Delta co conflict everywhere. The secession movements in the South is so Nigeria is really struggling. Well, we are here to support and help. Are you? We have the military team here. We came here after the Chibok girls were kidnapped actually. We are still here training the Nigerian military, helping them to do campaign planning, how to cut it. Uh -huh. So you are the one training the Nigerian military. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be there. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said the recent visit of the UK Minister of Armed Forces to Nigeria showed the commitment of the UK government. Oh, commitment. Okay. So we are here for a long time. This is a Nigerian partnership. Your insecurity becomes our insecurity. Eh, okay. If we don't help you tackle it, mm. so our your insecurity becomes our insecurity if we don't help you tackle it. Mm. 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 Okay. So we are here. And we are trying to do our best to support you, she said. Commanding the Children pro Program, Lang said, it was an initiative, an initiative of the UK government aimed at preparing future leaders who would not only excel in the academic sphere, but also give back to their respective countries. She said that you already had 1,300 children alumni currently occupying important positions and power and providing the UK with both access and influence. Okay. Occupying important positions and power. You know that the I Commissioner's statement came barely twenty four hours after Nigerian Senate President Ahmed Lawan 
had claimed on the social media that security in Nigeria was gradually improving. <laughs> that one said that. So, he said, Joker, <laughs> improving. Mm. That one had stated that more resources needed to, to be deployed to enable security operatives to deliver on their mandate. The security situation is gradually improving. And I am sure that when we, we have more resources to to our security agencies, we will see even faster recovery. Uh, mm. Mm. According to the data obtained from the Nigerian Security Tracker, 115 civilians died from banditry, insurgency, and intercommunal clashes. While 51 persons were kidnapped or abducted between March 21 and March 27th. Insecurity in Nigeria has worsened in recent times from clashes between the Eastern Net Security Network and the military in the Southeast to other farmers' clashes, invasion. It's, there are no clashes. Other farmers' invasion in the Southwest as well as insurgency and banditry in the northern region of the country. In Kaduna State alone, more than 150 persons have been kidnapped in the state, although some of them have been released. Some are still languishing in the kidnappers' then. All these northern states like Yobe, Adamawa, Zamfare, and Niger faced a recurrent violent crisis that leads to the closure of some schools in the state earlier in February. A civil society organization, Amnesty International, had lamented the strings of attacks on schools in the northern Nigeria, stating that security operatives were not doing enough to cut the trade. Much of the crisis is particularly perpetrated by Boko Haram insurgents, bandits, farmer, farmers' hardens, no, terrorists for learning hardens. Terrorists will learn enhancement, secessionist groups and others. Within the last several months, Canada, United Kingdom, United States and Australia have won their citizens against traveling to Nigeria, fighting insecurity and other crises. So, you are the ones turning the military. So, you are the ones turning them. Abby, it's part of the training that you gave them that they should not face. Face, they should not go and tackle the Boko Haram. Eh, is is um is harmless innocent citizens. No black citizens they should be killing. Abi Emorasi. So guys, there you have it all. There you have it all. They are now concerned about the deteriorating security situation in Nigeria. Meanwhile, now one said it's improving. Mm. Okay. Uh -uh. Mm. Time will tell. Now the truth will come out. Whichever way, nothing stays easy. Everyone has to say, guys, there you have it. They are concerned now. Oh. It's getting bad though. They are really, really concerned. And they said they've been here for long. And they've been training them. But um, <laughs> it's all good. Training them. Is that the way they trained their own soldiers over there? Mm. It's all good. Ah, they stop. They stop with double standard everywhere. So it's all good. Though. Hmm. They are concerned. No, oh. it's deteriorating. No, oh. it's all good. Mm. Until I come your way again. Oh, oh, oh.